Hello dentists, how are you today? I hope you're fine. Today we're going to talk about uses of dental sealants. Before we start our uh, lesson today, I want you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos. And uh, press like and you can share the video too. So uh, let's talk. Uh, start our uh, lesson now. Uh, let's talk about the uses of dental sealants. We have three types of dental sealants. Leaching agents, cavity lining and bases, temporary restoration and permanent restoration. Leaching agents, uh, they are used to cement crowns, inlays, onlays, and veneers. Cavity lining, such as um, uh, calcium hydroxide and bases like zinc oxide and eugenol. Temporary restorations like the um, uh, zinc oxide and eugenol and glass ionomer. Well, let's talk about it later. Okay. So we have here, and look at, let's look at this, uh, this picture here. We have here an uh, inlay. This is we use it. So the luting agents uh, uh, we cement. We can use it to cement inlays, onlays, and crowns. Okay. Here we have this is a crown. And then you put the uh, the cement here, either zinc uh, phosphate, zinc uh, polycarboxylate, whatever. Okay, and then we put it uh, on the prepared tooth structure, and then we remove the excess of cement. Okay, to allow uh, aesthetics. Okay, let's look here next slide. Types of materials used for each purpose. Luting agents. Uh, we have for luting agents we have modified zinc phosphate, uh, zinc oxide and eugenol, zinc polycarboxylate, glass ionomer, and resin cement. So these are examples of luting agents. Cavity liners and bases, like a cavity liner like calcium hydroxide, which is used to protect the pulp from uh, being sensitive and uh, we use the base uh, on top of the liner okay so the first thing is the liner and then we put on it uh, the zinc oxide and eugenol which is the base okay to um, protect the pulp from sensitivity temporary restorations uh, for temporary in case of temporary restorations after preparation of the cavity we can put zinc oxide and eugenol okay and then we bring the patient for the next visit to continue our work okay and do the final restoration so for so zinc oxide and eugenol is used as a temporary restoration and glass ionomer also is used as a temporary restoration uh, in case of uh, kids we can use glass ionomer to fill in our um, cavity okay it's used as a uh, permanent restoration we could use for kids it could be used as a permanent restoration okay okay let's here look here a liner this is the liner here calcium hydroxide can you see here this is the liner okay it's so close can you see very close if you have a very uh, deep cavity which is very close to the uh, pulp we put calcium hydroxide in order to prove uh, we can make a reparative dentine okay or secondary dentine in order to protect the pulp from being sensitive so calcium hydroxide forms a secondary dentine or reparative dentine okay which protects the pulp from being uh, sensitive then we put the base which is zinc oxide and eugenol on top of the calcium hydroxide it's used with a condenser. Can you see? We spread. He's spreading the um, the uh, liner and the base with a uh, condenser. Let's see the next slide. Okay. Which which zinc based cement bonds to tooth substance? Of course, zinc polycarboxylate is a well-known uh, cement and it is used to bond to tooth substance because uh, why do we choose it? Because it has minimal, minimal, minimal pulp irritation. It's very good for pulp protection. Okay, so it's used for uh, permanence. It's used as a, a permanent cement 
och crowns, bridges, inlays and onlays, orthodontic uh, cementation and high strength base. It's a very good cement because it has no effect, bad effect on the pulp. How should this material be mixed and why? It is mixed, so the cement is mixed on a glass slab as it must not be mixed on anything that absorbs water. Also, a glass slab can be cooled and this will increase the working time. Can we see here we put the powder? Okay, here we put three increments, okay, or uh, uh, amounts of uh, powder, okay, and this is the liquid. So this is the powder and this is the liquid, okay. And then we have a small spatula here and we mix uh, 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 the powder with the liquid and to make a mix okay you have to be very fast because cement uh, dries uh, dries up very quickly which cement